Adil's existence became a vortex of despair, his every action a futile attempt to escape the relentless grip of guilt that haunted him. The lavish lifestyle he once pursued with vigor now felt empty, each extravagant party a mere echo of the joy he sought. The nights melded into one endless cycle of revelry, each event more decadent than the last, as if in defiance of the void within. Yet, the laughter rang hollow, and the faces around him blurred into insignificance. He was a man adrift, lost in a sea of his own making, clinging to the wreckage of his dreams. The tipping point came one reckless night, a party so wild that it spiraled out of control, leaving destruction in its wake. Accidents ensued, a testament to the chaos, and when the sirens wailed in the early hours, Adil found himself in handcuffs, the reality of his situation crashing down like the walls of his own personal prison. In the solitude of his cell, the weight of his choices bore down on him. The darkness was not just around him but within him, a reflection of the path he had chosen. Memories of Horma, of their shared dreams and laughter, tormented him, each one a reminder of what he had lost. The food turned to ash in his mouth, the concept of freedom a distant dream. He had reached the pinnacle of success, only to discover it was the lowest point of his existence. Tears, long held at bay, now flowed freely, each one a testament to his regret no. and the profound sense of failure that enveloped him. Adil had achieved everything he thought he wanted, only to realize he had lost everything that mattered.